What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 here to bring us some Planet Side 2 gameplay. And also, if you guys enjoyed this Planet Side 2 gameplay, make sure you leave a like on the video. Also, if you guys got any questions about what PSN ID name am I rolling in and what server am I in on Planet Side 2, leave it in the comment section and ask a question. Um, I'll gladly answer it. So, moving on to the main topic, which is about Black Ops 3 and also on day one releases. Uh, my prediction is the game will fuck up on the servers. It would not log into, you know, the first match like right away. It's gonna kick you out, or it's gonna lag like all over the goddamn place. I don't care if it's next gen. I don't care if it's previous gen. It's gonna mess up. Cause uh, according to the history, like Call of Duty Ghosts, yes, especially Call of Duty Ghosts, um, Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3, all their first day releases was a total lag fest, and also you would automatically be kicked out of random ass servers. Like I was like. How can I be kicked out if I have wired connection? There was nothing else going on with my modem. So there was no reason for me to be kicked out. And then what happened on Black Ops 2? Now, this is a fun story. On Black Ops 2, on the second day, I got banned for 24 hours. Because back in the day in Black Ops 2, if you were to back out from several uh, several gameplays, for several games, you will be banned. I believe that like the max amount will be eight or something like that. And after you cross eight, they give you a warning. And then when you cross ten, uh, backing out sessions, you're gonna be banned for eight hours or 24 hours. For me, it was 24 hours. I don't even know why the hell they penalized me because I was like, I got wire connection. I don't got Wi-Fi, so there was no reason for me to be backing out. So, but still, I got banned. So I couldn't play it on my second day. So it was a total bullshit thing. But um, but yeah, it, it went through. And then Modern Warfare 3, the problem that I had with Modern Warfare 3 in the first week of release, it was a total lag fest. I felt like I was connected with somebody from fucking, I don't know, Antarctica or something because that fucking lag fest was fucking horrendous i'm telling you i it wasn't freaking playable a lot of people complain a lot of people to make videos i even saw some of the you know old school veterans uh of call of duty talk about this issue about you know everybody's just lagging around you they can't even aim you know it was a big issue so modern warfare 3 really was a huge ass issue you still you can still connect you can even still stay in the same uh, game but the thing is you're gonna be lagging all over the place it was freaking horrible i remember those days and Man, it was a total nightmare. <laughs> Cause then all of a sudden, like when you're trying to rush out there in the map, the the enemy will like totally like teleport all over the goddamn place. You really can't hit him at all. And um, that was just that was just super bad. Then Call of Duty Ghosts. I know the servers in the first week they were not even working. So yeah, Call of Duty has that history, and I know all of that happened in the previous gen. But I'm thinking Black Ops 3. You know, it has the title Black Ops, and it was made by you know. Yours truly, Von der Haar, the freaking asshole over there. He, the, this game is being made by, by that guy, right? Black Ops 3 has the title, Treyarch and everything. So everybody's super excited for this game. And also a lot of people pre-ordered the Collector's Edition. So it's going to be an overload in the servers. Especially on the beta. So not only the full game will go ape shit on the first day on multiplayer. Also the beta. So just watch, guys. You're not going to be able to play the beta on the first day. It's going to be a, either a total lag fest or a total server meltdown. Like, when you go into the game, you're playing like for a little bit, and then all of a sudden you get kicked out. That's what's going to happen most of the time. So that's about prediction, guys. I know I'm not, I'm not trying to throw the salt here to, to the game. I really want to play the beta because I want to bring in some gameplays. I want to bring in some best class setups. And also, also, they announced that there will be paint shops. So be prepared for me to like, create some Nintendo characters, you know, some speed art. I'll be showing it here in my channel. It's going to be super awesome to show. Um, so there's going to be a lot of things to be shown here. Maybe like around three videos per day. That's what's going to happen once the beta come out. Because I'm ready for it. This year I'm going to go all out. And hopefully you guys are stay, or stay here you know, for the long ride. Because it's going to be fucking fun. I'm telling you right now. So that is it. That's all I wanted to talk about. You guys agree or disagree that the game will go ape shit in the first days or not? If you guys don't, well, let me a reason why. And also this gameplay, I was... You know, pretty much sniping the whole game. It's not considered camping. I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you want to see it as. So, that is it. Subscribe for more. You guys want to see more Call of Duty topics and also more Call of Duty details.